Hello everyone, this is Perfect, and welcome back to my Stonehearth hard series on Alpha 2.1. I think I clicked continue, I remember last time it took a little while to load, so I'll just click it earlier. So I'm pretty pleased with how the first two episodes have gone. We've got our cleric now, which should make things much easier for us. And I think now we can we can sort of take the pedal off just a little bit and, and focus on some other things. So let's hit play and let's chuck that down. And what am I going to do next? So we've got farmers, we've got people, you guys have got full health, so let's turn you off and start wandering around. I'm thinking I kind of want to get more Actually, I'll let these guys finish this one, but I kind of think we're looking towards getting a blacksmith, actually. Because that way we can get better armor and things for our footmen. Um, but we also need to get more net worth, and I think a blacksmith will probably help with that as well. Um, our edibles are going really, really well, so I'm thinking we're probably ready to get a mason's. But let's let's maybe just set these guys up to do a little bit more... Uh, mining, so let's slice it, and yep, and I think we're going to get a mason as well. So let's get rid of this slice view, and let's get rid of let's get rid of all those views, and we're going to need a mason. So what have we got? A passionate engineer. You're just courageous, and you are callous. I'm thinking you can probably be our mason. Yep, you're going to be our mason. Um, and I think once this is built, let's go back down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six beds. And we have nine people. So we need a few more extra beds. I also need to keep remembering to collect all our resources over here. Um, I'm thinking we probably also need to start building things like paths and all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll have to dig some trenches. How are we going for wood? We've got plenty of wood, so I don't need to chop down any more trees for a while. Um, but I would like to get some extra stone. I would also like to chop down some trees in this area, because I keep keep forgetting where our actual... From this angle, where actually is our... Where is our mine? It's somewhere in there. Oh, well, let's check this rugged survivalist. There's nothing I want to buy, but what could we sell? I think I'm just going to sell this fine wooden stuff, because we're not going to need that. It's a fine wood. Um, we've got an extra one of these. Let's sell one of those. I think that'll probably do. So you two aren't doing anything, which is disappointing, because I wish we could get our workers over here collecting those. Looks like there's something that he can pick up somewhere. No. You know what, while, whilst there's nothing for them to do, I'm just going to put them on patrol, because I think they slowly get um, some experience when they're on patrol. So at least that way they're getting experience, rather than, well, nothing at all. And we have got our mason now, so let's let's start crafting things with a mason. So we're going to craft that. As soon as he levels up to the right level, we're going to get that. We're going to chuck all these on maintain one, because I really think this is a useful thing to be doing. And I also think there's a weapon down here. Yep, a weapon. So we're going to make you maintain that. And then I think to level up, we're going to make you build... I don't know, bird baths? Maybe we'll build some bird baths. Let's just build ten of these. I think that'll help level him up. And I want to get some of these chests, because... This looks kind of ugly, and I like getting those chests, because they have 64, I think, in them. Which is quite useful. Quite useful indeed. So this building look like, looks like it's finished. Our net worth's definitely getting up quite quickly. Um, but I want to get rid of some beds off the ground. And we also need to start building some workshops. So I'm wondering, maybe we could build a workshop over here. Actually, we should probably be building some extra houses. So I'm going to do that as well. I think I just want to get in front of the houses so that we've got more beds... Um, for people, but I might even... No, that's only one. I think we'll have a couple of cottages for two. Let me just check 
this because we want to make sure the scaffolding will work because I really don't like it sometimes when you build too close to each other they can't actually build the second one because the scaffolding gets in the way and it just doesn't just doesn't work and Petra Yish yes has achieved Weaver level 3 so I'm hoping we get another person tonight I might even chuck the speed up because we're looking pretty safe at the moment and things are coming along quite well so after this we'll have eight beds so just one shy everyone's grabbing some food we've still got enough chairs at the dining table I think yep and our edibles 204 we should have more than enough for an extra person tomorrow so I suppose my focus now that we've got the cleric is just to keep getting more and more people because the more people I get um, I can just spare a person here and there to become an extra footman and I think our people should already be set up they are so where are we going to be attacked from over here somewhere yeah see look now that you've got the cleric my warrior or footman just doesn't take any damage and it just gets so much easier eventually I will uh, when more difficult enemies come along what did he drop he dropped a coarse bandage used by herbalist to heal for a small amount I still don't know how to use those potions that herbalists make we've got heaps of these potions but I don't know how they use them I know I don't actually have a herbalist at the moment but if I did I still wouldn't know how they would use them um, I think while that's all being built I'm gonna build a path place building so I'm not very good at custom but we're just going to build a road I might go for a stone road what's a cool looking stone road gunmetal I wonder what that'll look like uh, or do I want to try trout or should I try something a little bit different maybe I'll go let's see if I can do something like this and then we'll have the gunmetal in the middle is that, is that working yep and then we might have another path that comes down this way and what was it I think it was was it mild gray does it, can I tell me I think it was mild gray no it's slightly different but that's okay and we're gonna build this path and you know what I might even put a little border on that bit and I think that'll be our path for the moment I know it's all very square actually I should probably do it into this building as well although the scaffolding is going to get in the way. Let's just build that first. We're not going to have enough stone, I don't think. Oh, yes, we... 19 to 5. So we don't have enough. Or do we... It's 5 of 19. I'm not sure, but I think that's going to look a bit better with having a little, little bit of a path. And we got people. So in theory, very, very soon, we should be getting an extra person, or at least having a daily update, where I think we'll be able to get an extra person. Um, we should also be placing down our mason workshop. We are going to build a new workshop at some point, but I just, for the moment, just want to focus in this area, getting extra people. And see, so yeah, we got heaps of food, so that should be good enough for tomorrow as well. And our net worth's going pretty well too. And we got Pen Nelvin, which. What are your stat traits? What's this? Featherweight. Pen Nelvin likes to walk a bit faster than others, though they tend to carry less. Well, that's disappointing. And your mind is terrible. Your body and your spirit is okay. I could make you a warrior, because then you can be a fast-moving warrior. Because being a worker, I kind of like my workers to have good carrying capacity. Oh, I'll think about that a bit later. We probably don't need two warriors just yet anyway. And we don't really have anything for our warriors to pick up and move around. I would like to get people focusing back in in the mine. So I think maybe for a while, once these paths built and this house is built, we might stop our workers from building just for a little bit. And that way we can start getting them to collect some resources. And Tipper Pap has achieved level one as the Mason. The mason can now make a solid array of basic furniture. Awesome. And another rugged survivalist came along. So we've got all these armor, but I'm going to keep those for when I eventually get a second 
person. I'm going to sell these bird baths though, because I don't really want them. I'll sell this fine item, and I think that's about it. We are running out of stone. So hopefully this building's finished relatively soon. We've still got a fair bit of extra wood. And we're going to have to mine some stone. I quite, quite like this little area, actually. So we've got our berry bushes. I wonder what it looks like from this angle, up the top here. And let's put the houses up. So looking down on the hill, we've got a couple of, we've got our dining hall, we've got our sleeping quarters, and we've got two little cottages um, coming up in this area. I wonder if I can build like a beach. I wonder if I can, I've never tried building in water. I don't think you can, but it'd be pretty cool to have like a little jetty jutting out there as well. Anyway, let's get rid of the building walls. I'm not quite sure about this path just yet. It might be a little bit too, like, single colour. Like, that's a, there's no texture in these at all. They're just colours. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not sure. It just stands out probably a little bit too much. That's okay for the moment. I think we'll keep it, though. Um, now, there are some items starting to place on the ground, so we'll get rid of you guys' jobs. You are level 2. What does that mean? What are your attributes at level 2? Job abilities. So at level 1, extra damage. Level 2, charge into battle. Oh, he's not quite level 2. That's to get to level 2. Extra damage. That's kind of cool. So, what have we got as far as skills. So we've we've got a warrior, we've got a herbalist, we don't have a blacksmith yet, we do have a carpenter, we've got a mason, we've got a farmer, we've got a trapper, and we've got a weaver. So we've nearly got all of the first tier professions, and we've also got a cleric as the second tier. We just need a blacksmith, and I think the blacksmith's probably going to be the next the next worker that we get. One, well, the next job we'll have. So I think I think this is built, or it's just the final touches. Does that one does that one have a lamp? It does have a lamp. Okay, it's just a bit strange that that one was showing and the other one wasn't showing. There's still a few items to be carried around. It looks like we can collect all these edibles. Okay, now that this is gone, actually no, I really want them to focus in the mine just for a while. I really want them to focus mining down up here for a bit, because I need to collect some resources. Because I don't think we've got any stone left. What are you doing? You're our trapper. I wonder what we get as a level 4 trapper. So you've got speed up, charm pet, that's kind of cool. Advanced jobs. I don't really want to upgrade you yet. I'm, I'm happy with you being a trapper. Efficient cuts. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, awesome. We've got extra, extra loot space. Better trap army skills. Increase the trapper's chance of capturing. That's kind of cool. Deter acquisition neighbours. What does that mean? Acquisitive neighbours. Does that mean it keeps enemies away, maybe? That would be kind of cool. So that's all done. So it looks like jobs for workers should just be in the mine now. Because I've got rid of... All of this here, most of the items have all been moved around. I know they're sleeping at the moment, but in theory, if I go to slice, there should be people mining, and they are. So let's let's maybe expand on this because I want to. I really want to collect a fair chunk <coughs> of this resources so that I can really level up the mason, and we can start working towards getting a blacksmith. In fact, I wonder how our mason is going. So where is our mason? Uh, mason, and you're coming up to level 2. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go to character sheet. So you're coming up to level 2. And what, what level does he need to be to make a blacksmith's hammer? Needs to be level... where does it say? Ooh, where does it say? Blacksmith hammer, level 3. Okay, so he's got a couple of levels to go. We are getting our 
stone coming along. This is why I really like to get a trapper early, because otherwise you have to wait for a level 3 uh, mason just to get a trapper, which is quite a long way away. So yeah, we've got heaps of food, so we don't need to worry about putting more people on food for a while, but we do need to get our net worth up. Now I think I turn these guys off, so let's put them back on. And where's the enemy? We've got a couple of wolves over here. Which we should be able to kill with not too much concern. They are doing a little bit more damage, but our cleric seems to be healing it just fine. But yeah, I think I think we're nearly getting to the point where we might want to get an extra person relatively soon as a footman. So maybe the next person that comes along we'll have to get another footman. When, when I was down to the one wolf, it wasn't a problem actually, it was just when there was two. And how are we going up here? So we're getting plenty of resources. Anything else to sell? What do we got here? Coarse bandage. You know, let's sell ten of those. And let's sell these. I think that's probably all we want to sell for the moment though. How is our mason going? Because I think that's the next thing that we're really interested in. It's leveling up this mason so we can get a blacksmith. Looks like he's either out of stone or he's got no jobs to do because he's not making anything. Yeah, he's got no jobs to do. So let's maybe... Do we want more bird baths? Let's make let's make some stone tables. Let's make... Uh, let's make maybe 12. So yep, he'll go make those now. We're actually getting a fair bit of like ore from in here as well. Am I turning you off? Yep, let's get you so you can start hauling again. We've got copper, we've got iron. So we actually do have a fair amount of ore that we're picking up from this mine. So it seems to be quite mineral rich, which is good. Alright, what's some other stats that I can see in this game? Holy moly, let's have a look at this. Doesn't like the raw meat. What does it mean by times two? Does that mean two days in a row, maybe? Idle hands. I've got nothing available. Oh, this is the person that likes to craft. Our mason just leveled up. Slept outside. Okay, well, we slept in a shared bed. I'm sharing my bed with someone else. Ah, okay, so if you actually allocate people a bed and they sleep in it, they get extra, extra bonus points as well. Eat a tasty meal and protected the town. Okay. Protected the town, or the town is protected? I don't know. It says protected the town. They're happy when they fight things? I think that seems a bit strange to me. So, when we leveled up, can you now build... You can. Alright, we're going to maintain 10 in our inventory at all time, because I really like to place these. And I might even delete that now, because I don't think we need those anymore. But we will need a chest. Because I would like to replace this completely. And I might even... I wonder if we can build stairs up here rather than having a ladder. And we can have, like, some stairs cut into the hill up here. And then maybe stairs cut up again all the way into the mine. There's heaps of copper. We're, just, we're not going to have any issues getting copper for a while. Why are you placing those gold on the ground? So how are we going? I think... I think maybe once they've chopped down all of this, which they nearly have, we might go go back to building some things. Now I'm thinking I'm thinking we might even start building some special houses. So what I might do is we might get a carpenter's house. Should we get a tiny cottage? There's only one bed. It just seems like a lot of space for one bed. We might just get a dining hall no a last sleeping quarters. Just because I think that'll be enough. Two, four, six, eight, and this will be ten. And let's put it, let's put it there. Am I going to be able to put things up in that area though? If I do that there, or should I put it behind this one? Most of our workers are up in this area though at the moment, so maybe maybe I'll do it right on the boundary. And we'll chuck it. Yeah, I think where I wanted it originally, that'll probably do. And how do I... 
Let's check the roof on to see. I think we'll be able to get to that roof with scaffolding. I'm really hoping that'll work. Okay, so now they've collected the resources. Our mine, uh, a warrior or footman and cleric can now start to pick them up. So they've got chores they can be doing rather than just patrolling around. But we also need to work on our net worth, which is why I want to keep building these houses. Um, I probably, I think you get net worth a bit faster from crafting than from you do with building houses. But in the early game, I think it's a little bit easier just to build up your houses, get people ready to go. We're going to delete these beds soon. Hopefully after this, uh, we might get one more person, which means we still need one more bed inside when we get to 11. But I really want to try to focus on not having people sleep outside, just to keep that morale up. But I, I, I quite like where um, where we're going at the moment. Alabaltau has achieved level two farmer. We've got a we've got a little village coming along. It's nothing too exciting, but it is starting to come along. We've got. Our mine's coming along now. Our trap is level five. And I think I think that's pretty good. And so, what armor are you in now? So our footman now. How do I check the armor? So if we go equipment, he's got cloth padded armor, which is one defense, and a thick leather vest and a stone maul. He doesn't have a shield. Now I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I can build shields. From you, can you build shields? You can. Did I not? I don't think I automatically put one of these shields up. So we're going to have maintain a shield, and we might as well also maintain a bow while we're here. And we got an extra person. Our food is just rocketing along. So who did we just get? Ala Kellock. And what's your stats, Ala? You might need to be our next herbalist, I think. Never voluntary backs down from a fight. Even from ones they probably should, I'm assuming that means leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you might end up being our next cleric, I think. But we don't need a cleric just yet. Okay, so we're up to day 8, and we've already got 11 citizens. So that's going really, really well. I'm very, very pleased with that. But I think that's probably a good time to end this episode. Just chuck it on pause. Um, if you have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and comment on any aspect of the game that I've been playing as well, or even just some suggestions to do in future episodes. But besides that, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks all. See you later. Bye.